Well, the good news in all this is that neighbors say that that toddler is in stable condition, recovering at the hospital after falling into a storage tank of some kind on this property across the street here. Now, the property owner did stop by just a few minutes ago. He says that the tank is filled with a mixture of oil and water. He also says that the toddler fell through rotting plywood that was covering the top of the tank. Dramatic video shows the moment a two year old boy was rescued from an underground storage tank on this vacant property in La Puente. In this cell phone video, you can hear the boy crying and the wail of onlookers and his mom, seen in the yellow skirt, crying as she thanks a neighbor who jumped in to pull the baby out. Thank you. The tank is on an empty lot. Neighbors aren't exactly sure what's inside, but it smells like oil. Neighbors say there was an Easter party at this home yesterday when they realized the toddler was missing and had fallen down this hole. The family panicked. Neighbors say it's an opening into some sort of storage tank and it's been there for years. Miguel Rocha says he grabbed this ladder and lowered it as his neighbor jumped in after the boy. He did not think. He just take the short off and jumping in the and the big hole I see that he saved, he saved the life of a baby. The toddler emerged right as police and fire arrived. Neighbors say the boy was covered in something thick and foul smelling. He was wearing his clothes but he was like he looked like he was covered in something like oily like really glossy. The guy that jumped in he said that he had like, eye, like his eyes were burning so he had sent to the hospital for that and the baby to get checked too. Neighbors say the toddler's family lives in El Monte and were just visiting for the Easter celebration. They say the toddler underwent surgery and is expected to be okay. And I did speak with city officials who say that because this is private property, it isn't regulated by the city. Still, they say that they reached out to the property owner to have him secure this tank so this doesn't happen again. We are live in La Puente, Adriana Weingold, CBS 2 News.